This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Special guest has wandered into the studio. Man, this guy's got a lot on his plate. I know that much, Kate Ritchie, because he's got something in common with you. Oh. He's in the running for a gold Logie. Oh, you know what that one. feels like. <laughs> She's got two. I know I'm not in the running anymore. Well, you know what I mean. I you know I what don't it's win like anything to, anymore. I tried to tie the two of you together for a really <laughs> seamless introduction. Andy Lee, welcome to the show. <laughs> nice to be here, guys. How are you? Very yeah, good, buddy. We're good. That's do we? Do I have your endorsement? I, that's what's happening in the US at the moment. Endorsement like, for the gold for, logo. For the gold logo. Do I have oh. your official endorsement? Vote one, Andy <laughs> Lee. Really? I, I mean, I think people have been asking me to stand down, like Joe Biden, and <laughs> let Hamish run. Let Hamish run again. <laughs> you can't win you? it, old man. Who asked you, mate? Was it Robert Irwin? <laughs> yeah. He's had a crack, hasn't he? Stand down now, Mr. Lee. No, that is exciting. It no, is. Andy. Congratulations. That is great. Good, good luck. Do you, are Thank you, you on the campaign trail. Are they getting you out there? How's that been going? No, I haven't started that one, but I, I, I will kick into gear, and of course it'll be the start of ten in a row. That's yeah, what I'm going yep. for. <laughs> That's what everybody Clean, wants. Sweet. Just, yeah, just ten years back to back of gold, and then I'll retire. And uh, I've <laughs> noticed a technique that Mr. Blake has used over mm. the years, mm. and it's sort of a last... Popularity? Well, that can work, <laughs> but it's also a last-minute rushed attempt, where uh-huh. a, a dinner might take... And I'm not saying he He's done this. I'm not saying I was at the dinner. I'm not saying Tommy was at the dinner. Great. Where you go out for dinner sort of a couple of weeks beforehand. It might be a succulent Chinese meal. Mm-hmm. And that's when he asks everybody to get out their phone and vote, 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 <laughs> vote over <laughs> and over again. Really sort of a, an hour of power of voting. I'm not saying I was there and he did that, but I would think yeah. that you could do that if you wanted to do that. So Well, well, that's nice, although he was up last year and lost, so I don't want to take any <laughs> advice from him. <laughs> Everyone got sick a of loser. voting at the table. <laughs> Andy, will you write a little speech though? Oh, you have like, to. Because it's it's imba- it, it can be embarrassing. Did you? you? You feel as though if I don't write it down and I happen yeah. to get up there and have the chance to speak, I want it to be good, but then I yeah. don't want to back myself too hard. No, no I'm not. I'm going to write a song, original. Oh. Oh, that could <laughs> you imagine? A good idea. <laughs> exactly, and uh, hopefully have people in the in the crowd that can come up with instruments and just play yes. it live. Yes. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not guaranteeing that happens if I win the gold logie, but you were better Go off voting it. to find oh. out. <laughs> That's if you've got hook. a la- laptop at the table and get on to chat GBT straight away, you might know, <laughs> better pump one out on the spot. That's actually um, a better idea. That would be fun. Actually, no, I, I probably will jot something down, Katie, because I, I don't want to go full Sonia Kruger on it, and yep. uh, with all due respect to Son, because mm. she's still uh, regretting that as like, we caught up for our um, <laughs> photographs of <laughs> Loki. So, um, yeah, I'll probably jot something down. Yeah. Does she still talk about it, the speech? It, it, like- it, must, it must have cut a cut deep in her that mistake because she did mention it as soon as I saw her again right and 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 I said to be honest no one's thinking about that son it's okay but I think she yeah, she had the moment and she feel like she uh, she kicked the ground instead of the ball right well yeah. that you know what she should take comfort in the fact that around the same time Daryl Summers made a speech now well, I think exactly. a lot of people <laughs> were talking about that rather than there was a few other distractions on the yeah. night wasn't there yeah, yeah. every other person now, there, got there's up. your Joe Biden analogy <laughs> 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 that ramble on. Oh, man, what a beauty. Hey, Ando, um, can, can, we, can we celebrate the Olympics, which you guys oh, are doing yes. uh, with the tonight, 100? Yes. Channel 9 tonight, 8 p.m. Love that. It's country versus country. Mike Goldstein rep- representing America. Boo. Uh, Guy <laughs> Williams, the great New Zealand comedian representing Boo. New Zealand. Boo. Boo. And, and Kate Langbrook representing Australia. Go Langbrook. Yes. So, but I'll put you three or four who are jumping in against each other now. Uh, we've got sports-related questions. We've got France-related questions. We're doing everything uh, Olympic theme this, this evening. Love uh, this. Liesl Jones also dropping by to face under. But here we go. Um, what percentage of Australians have cried at a sporting event? Oh, it's... I'd like you to look know in 90... It's, no, 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 no. It would have to be very slim because it's not very often you get to be at a sporting event when it's a life-altering experience. It means so much. Yeah, but it could be one of your kids. Does it have to be an Olympic event, Ando? It could just no, be your kid just a playing ice kick. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say 8%, Ando. Oh, I'll say like 32. <laughs> Gee, she's always in touch with a common man, Katie. 31 it is. Oh, Katie, Katie off yeah. to an early Bye. lead in the pool. <laughs> And, and the yellow line's just in front of her for world record pace. Oh, Should work, Richie. Yes. Okay, what percent of Australians have celebrated a win with a tattoo? 
Oh, oh God. <laughs> It could oh, be any type of win. It could be your team. Club, it could be uh, the team you support. What a great question. I'm going to say 18%. I'm going to mm-hmm. say much less than that, like 3%. Um, does that include your co-host, Mr. Blake, who has the Olympic rings but not an athlete? Uh, that's true. Yeah, that is true. And he also, I tell you that, that a lot of people don't like him for that. A lot of yeah. <laughs> that might have cost him last year's gold. Sure. <laughs> it's alleged it to be illegal, isn't it? He, illegal. Yeah, we used to it cut should his be. Arm off. He, um, he 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 tried to show off. To, I can't remember who it was Mac awesome. Horton or someone. He's like, "Hey, look, I've got this," and the the response was not what he was oh. hoping for. I'm like, oh. why would you do that? that, that yeah, that's what it was. I'd like to go thirty percent. What did you go, Fitz? I went eighteen percent. Okay. And and what did you go, Katie? Three, didn't About, you? About, yeah, three. <laughs> Katie's got it again. Seven percent. <laughs> oh, I love it when you win. Oh. Oh. Me too. She said earlier in this little chat that she doesn't win anything anymore. She's oh. out to a good lead. We've got time for another question? Yes. 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 <laughs> okay, this one's more French-themed. <laughs> what percent of Australians have had a menage a trois? Oh, shivers. Oh, God, this is... For this those that deep. aren't culturally Literally. versed, Tommy, would you like to explain? <laughs> no, I will not demonstrate today. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry. demonstrate. Oh, right. no. Traditional is two. Uh, menage well, au trois is an extra. I would say... I'm going to say a third, just under a third. I'll go 30% of Australians. <laughs> Good insight into fit, the people Fitzy hangs out with. I don't know. I'm, stick, I'm sticking with the threes. I'm sticking with the threes. If Tommy was dressed as an animal, does that count? Because Lisa didn't really know whether it was another human. I'm going to go... Oh. I really hope I win oh. this one, go too. Go Kate's going to say, hey. Yeah. Um, like 16%. Okay. Okay. What did you go, Fitz? 30. I'm going to split it at 20%. Well, that's cheating. Katie, you've won it again. Whoa! It's just <laughs> the clean sweep. She knows her menage a trois. I do. I've got the stats, guys. <laughs> Not afraid of it. <laughs> Can I recommend, though, if you get offered one, don't go, you know what, 7% of Australians have done this. It can really cue, kill the mood yeah, if you can. just start going, barking on about the stats wow. yeah. around it. <laughs> Kate, congratulations. Gold. Uh, unfortunately, I can't even give out silver and bronze because these guys did not really even compete. No. Did not finish. Um, no competition. Yeah. Oh my well done, Richie. <laughs> well done, Andy. Tonight, Channel 9, 8 p.m. It's the special Olympic episode of The 100. Andy, uh, good luck tonight and also Thank good you. luck with the gold logie, brother. Well done. Oh, nice to have your official endorsement, even though you guys didn't really say no, that. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> See you, buddy. Bye. See you guys. Bye. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.